<laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here, we're, we're here back once again with the very talented Scott Page, the CEO of Think EXP. He's got some really cool updates coming at you. And of course, as we talked earlier on the Mike Wagner show, he's been a saxophonist and multi talented musician with Pink Floyd, Super Tramp, and Total. We talked about all his cool experiences. And Scott, if you want to relive that experience, Yay. too. <laughs> Yay, I'm here with Mike Wagner. That's right. Yay. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Mike Wagner. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing, buddy, through all this wildness? Hey, we're just doing great. You know, we'll talk yeah. about the uh, benefit for Australian wildfires, the yeah. Who's Who of Rock, and, of course, New Orleans Jazz Festival. And once again, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we're just cutting through the red tape and just imagining everything. Ladies and gentlemen, the CEO of Think EXP and the very super multi-talented. Yay! Yay! Hey, I'm so excited to see him. I'm so excited <laughs> to see him. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great, and so happy great. to see you as well, too, and thanks for coming back, and I've been wanting to have you back on for quite some time. This is a perfect opportunity. Let's do it. I mean, listen, we're all at home now, right? We're all, we're in a perfect place, so I've got plenty of time to talk today, no problem. Oh, that's right. Yes, we got plenty of time, and of course, um, you know, you're the current CEO of Think EXP. You played yeah. a saxophone for Pink Floyd, Super Tramp, and Toto and more, and yeah. just tell us about your uh, music career with the three groups, and also... A, a quick uh, summary of um, you being the CEO of Think EXP before we get to um, what you're going to talk about today. Wow. Well, let's see. Um, yeah, it's been a great ride. I can't. I cannot complain. It's been an incredible ride. Had to, you know, getting to play with some of the greatest bands in the world. Clearly, all a lot of my favorite musicians. And so I kind of pinch myself all the time, uh, saying that, "Wow, how did that happen? I got the luck of the draw, right?" <laughs> uh, yeah. So I had a great time all those years, and you know, I'm very excited about what we're doing at Think. You know, my my background has really been more not just about the music, but really on the business side. I love business, just like I love music and love to play, love uh, you know the entertainment business, but. Uh, uh, the new models have shifted so much, you know, since, uh, you know, since the kind of the uh, music can't be sold anymore. There's no, we can't sell music anymore. So what do we have to do is we got to try to come up with new models and really where the, the money is, is really in the experience. Now, the two things an artist can sell is the relationship and the and the experience. So think experience is an immersive entertainment company. And uh, we've been doing a, a 360 degree immersive show inside of a, a 360 degree dome in downtown Los Angeles. We've done probably 40 shows in there now, pretty much sold them all out. It's been a crazy ride. Um, love the whole idea of this new experience because, you know, we're we're at a point where. You know, we have so much music. I got people sending me music every day. Everybody can make music now. There's just so much of we got a glut of it. It's to the point, please stop. I can't take anymore. <laughs> I, have, I can't I can't listen to any more records. I can't listen to any more music. I have plenty of that. So uh, and I think a lot of people are in the same way. They've got access, you know, with Spotify, you got instant music everywhere. So, you know, really, where is the new business model? There you go, right in the palm of your hand there. So the new business model is really about. Uh, creating an experience or again if you're the type of person that has a very interesting lifestyle you can people will pay to get involved in that but uh, yeah so think is all about creating these new shows we're actually getting ready we're going to do an experimentation with a company that has developed shoes that when you put them on they turn you into a speaker so you put on shoes and turn into a speaker oh yes. my goodness yeah so this is kind of this whole immersive idea of what kinds of new it, it, kind of cool things that we can bring to the experience. So I'm pretty excited about testing that one out. Uh, I haven't heard it yet, but I hear they say once you listen to music this way, you never want to listen to music again any other way. So I can't wait to check it out. 
so that'll be fun. And, you know, we're experimenting. We're working on an AR app. Um, so from augmented reality, building that into the show. So, you know, the real the, the real deal is now creating an experience where people could come and kind of have a shared uh, experience, except for right now, since we're in uh, lockdown on pseudo lockdown on this coronavirus thing, we're not having too many shared experiences right now, but uh, they <laughs> will start up again soon. And I'm sure it will, too. And of course, you know, you know, it's good to share, but not share the coronavirus. So That's so right. I, I guess I guess just a quick take on the uh, coronavirus. I've heard mixed reviews. I mean, for me, it's just simply just wash your hands and just uh, take care of yourself. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a it's an interesting time we live in. Clearly, this is I think a, I think there's going to be a lot of value that comes out of this, to be truthful. I think there's going to be a lot of pluses. I think it's going to uh, uh, I think we're moving into a, a new new phase of kind of humanity in the sense that where these viruses now are not going to be uh, as uh, uh, I mean, they've been they, they weren't spread as easily before. But now we're at a point where, you know, we've got this. I know people are hip to CRISPR. CRISPR is if you want to look, go up and see it, uh, check that out on, on um, uh, you know, Wikipedia, go look it up. But it's kind of now we can people can get into home DNA sequencing and cloning and stuff because our kits can be done at the house. So we're getting ready <laughs> to go through a period of time where, in, you know, we've got this human condition with all these, you know, wonderful people. But then there are those few that are a little twisted and do wacky things. So I think it's this whole thing's going to be good for us right now to go through it and um, uh, get on the other side of this, put systems in place. I think it's going to I think it's going to have a lot of value. I think it's also got value. It's bringing families together again in a way that's really unique. Uh, it looks like they're going to be stuck with each other for at least two or two to four weeks. Uh, so uh, it's an interesting time. And I think for musicians, it's uh, this is especially rough. Because, you know, cutting all the bars and the hotels, I mean, all the gigs are gone. Our, all our gigs completely vanished. There's not one gig to be had. So uh, I am a little bit concerned about the music community having to go through this because it's a little tough. You know, the, most of them are on, uh, you know, live on a pretty tight schedule of keeping revenue coming in and don't really have necessarily a whole lot of savings in, in the account. So I'm hopeful, though, that uh, we will rally as a community and figure this all out because this is all past. It'll all go by and we'll get through it just like we have with everything else we've ever had to do through the years. So it's an interesting time, but I want to take advantage of it as much as I can to, you know, make stuff. This is a great time to be creative, get back into reading, do some self-learning and things like that. So that's my plan is to work on my projects, the things that I want to do that I I normally can't do because I'm too busy running around going to meetings and dealing with all kinds of stuff. So it's actually very interesting, this slowdown. Uh, I think there's actually a lot of positive, a lot of sadness for folks, too. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's right. all rosy, but life isn't perfect. It's right. Remember, we we have to deal with whatever we're, whatever we're dealt with. Exactly. And I read an interesting article about uh, Van Gogh where he was involved in some business when they had this bubonic plague that um, spread all over Europe. He right. was actually confined to home and made just beautiful paintings and the paintings he made that were most famous. This is actually a time that he was on shutdown. So if, if Van Gogh can create beautiful paintings during a shutdown, we can all create something beautiful, you know, just being in the homes right now during this coronavirus. Yeah, I think the most important thing people will, I hope, will, wake, will start to wake up. And what I mean by that, I don't mean wake up that like, oh, I got to be prepared. I think it's more about waking up to realizing, you know, I go through this, I have this conversation with people. I try to explain to them. The only thing that's real right now is you and me talking, Mike. Right. right. Ex two, ex two, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> two minutes from now is going to be an illusion. Two right. Two minutes ex from now forward, I mean, it's you can't do anything. So the only thing that matters is this. So my, my hope is, is through all this that we're going through, it'll start taking people to start reflecting inward and starting looking, you know, kind of waking up from the being stuck in the machine, right? We've got these cell phones in our face all the time. And uh, I think it's really time that we start to put those down and sort of get out there and smell the roses again. So maybe this will be one of those things that'll help us get back into nature. I know I've been taking walks and kind of reflecting on everything. So I hope uh, other people do the same thing. You know, it's, it's, I think it's important. Mm -hmm. And of course, most, most importantly, get some exercise, walk your dog, hug your pets, yeah. your family, and just, um, or even go for a drive with family as well, too. Like go yeah, out to absolutely. a horse. Yes. Absolutely. That's right. And we'll also talk about something of wildlife as well, too. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. 
Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Farm. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with musician Scott Page, also CEO. What's the name of the show? Wait a minute. What's the name of that show? <laughs> Uh, the Mike, the Mike Wagner, Wagner show. show. Yes, that's yes. right. Yeah, and and taking the Think EXP areas with with Scott yeah. Page, and um, we talked about a little bit about uh, wildlife and um, nature and everything, and um, also before the whole coronavirus thing came down, you talk about the benefit for Australian wildfires and um, in LA, and uh, you can just talk about um, about that project and. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no question. We've been going through quite a while, a wild time in history right now. You know, we just had those massive fires in Australia, which were just I mean, obviously, we knew about it here in the States, but I don't think we really realized a lot of people how devastating that was. And I think they said a billion animals were lost, a billion, not a million, but a billion. Uh, and so what's happening is, is a, a group of friends of mine from Australia um, are we're putting together an event. Uh, which is called uh, United Mates, where we're kind of bringing the Australian fire people together with the U.S. to deal with uh, all these firefighters that have been affected heavily by this. So we've got a big event that we've got coming up, but it looks like we're, it's actually going to get moved now uh, until September um, because of the virus and everything that's going on. But we will still continue to kind of promote and work towards that. But we're going to be doing a big event on the, on the Fox uh, uh, movie lot. Uh, it's going to be a great event. Goal is to really raise some money to help the firefighters that we're fighting and all these. It's, there's a lot of issues came with them. And so we're trying to help that out. So we're excited about doing that. Think we'll be doing that, um, uh, running, we kind of doing most of the music and stuff for that event. Um, so we have that. And then we've also had, uh, uh, that coming up and we're excited about that, but we also have, uh, jazz fest coming up, but it looks like jazz fest might be getting pushed out a few months also. It has uh, nothing that's to do one with I've been really looking time. forward to. It has, nothing, it has nothing to do with hurricanes this time. No hurricanes this time. We're not stopping it because of that. Uh, hopefully, it'll. We, this is going to go by pretty quick. Maybe four to six weeks, we'll start seeing some relief. And, you know, hopefully by, uh, you know, midsummer and stuff, well, things will be getting back to normal again. That's our hope. You know, and, and we'll and, be able to go do that. And who will be featured in the New Orleans Jazz Fest? Oh, yeah. So it's the Think Band. So the Think Band is actually Think Experience being an immersive company. We also have our band, which is made up of myself, uh, Stephen Perkins from Jane's Addiction. Uh, he started that band along with Perry Farrell and uh, Dave Navarro. If you know that band, uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, Kenny Olson from Kid Rock's band. He started the Kid Rock band with Kid Rock years ago. It was also a um, uh, took over, believe it or not, Jimi Hendrix's place in the Hendrix Experience, toured oh, with them for years, filling that space. Yeah, Kenny's a monster guitar player. You can imagine to fill those shoes is a is a pretty big deal. Um, we uh, also Derek Day, who is our 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 art. We call him the Art Bird. He's this 25 year old kid that is just an incredible musician. Uh, he'll be uh, he's uh, got a very promising uh, solo career right now, and uh, he'll be playing with us. And then uh, Will Champlin. Um, who most a lot of people know from The Voice. He was one of the runner-ups on The Voice, but he's a monster, monster uh, keyboard player, singer, guitar player. So he'll be uh, playing with us. And also Tony Franklin, uh, the famous bass player from The Firm, better known as the Frantless Monster. So that's our Think Band. And uh, we've been doing a, a th our first sort of Think experience we've been doing this last year was a Think Floyd experience. So we've been doing a, a Pink Floyd uh, kind of immersive show which has been going really great. We've been enjoying that. So we're going to take that to Jazz Fest this year also. So that's kind of what we have on our agenda for that for right now. Mm, that's amazing, too. And also the who's who are rock stars. Looks like you made that list. I did. Yeah, that's what it says. And no, who's who are rock stars. So, yeah, just a lot I, of them. Yeah, wow. Well, I had no idea. That's great to know. 
See, you live and you learn. You're, <laughs> so you're more on top of it than me, brother. Hey, hey, I learned from the best. What can we say? I go. have you as a who's who as well, too. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, you got um, a lot of projects coming up. And uh, yep. what was coming up in 2020 for you? You know, further down the road and looking at 2021. If you don't do 2022, yeah. that's fine, too. Well, again, thinking about Think Experience, we're, we, we have a band component, music component, but we're really a business building out these uh these um, uh, immersive shows. And we're actually working on a show that we're going to be launching next year uh, um, in March, in March, March 1st, but we're booked right now where we're doing a big show, which is like, a, it's like, if you think about my company, think is really a combination of Cirque du Soleil meets Ted talks meets uh, burning man. So it's really kind of an experience of, of bringing education and, and entertainment together. We're working on a, 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 a rather large show right now, which is a, I can't, can't give it away totally yet, uh, but we're mashing some very interesting things together. And it's a very, I'm working with one of the top Cirque du Soleil directors right now on the show. And it's going to be in, a, uh, we're going to be launching it in a, uh, the most advanced immersive theater in the world, which is actually being built right now, which will be finished in October, November. And we're looking to put it up uh, in Los Angeles, but it may go to Vegas first. So think of it though. It's an immersive theater dome tent, but it's movable like, uh, Cirque du Soleil is. So we can take and move this structure and put it up in places and let shows run there for a couple months at a time. So that's our plan is we're building that, um, infrastructure now, uh, with um, my friends and my uh, group, my business partners out of Montreal, they all come out of Cirque du Soleil. They're out of that thing. So we're really looking at the immersive uh, entertainment space, and uh, that's our big show that we're working on. Myself and Steve Perkins are producing that together, and we're actually building it all out right now and with the hope that we'll hit March 1st and be ready to roll with this very exciting show that we're putting together. It, it sounds really exciting. Looking forward to that as well, yeah. too. And, of course, I'll talk about a couple of things as well, too. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Oh, I forgot the show to you, by the way, didn't we? <laughs> All right, we're here with uh, CEO of Thinky XP, Scott Page. Also saxophonist, Pink Floyd, Super Tramp, Toto. Yeah. And not to mention Quincy Jones as well, too. It's like, how in the world could I forget oh. Quincy Jones? <laughs> well, yeah, Quincy is interesting. I was uh, very fortunate. We had a started a joint venture with Quincy. Uh, called QD7 back in the day, and I actually had the uh, the pleasure of building was working on a CD-ROM with Quincy, where I was actually produce, getting to produce him. So believe it or not, I got to produce Quincy Jones doing a, an interactive CD-ROM title called uh, "Music and Man," which was the history of music through the eyes of Quincy Jones. Uh, so I got a real good chance to work with Q. He's one of my all-time favorite people. I think one of the things about Quincy is it's more I've actually learned more. Uh, about life from Quincy than even music. Uh, he's one of those really, re really rare, unique individuals that uh, when any, when, and everybody will say this that's ever had contact and dealt with him. He's like, it's like when you have a conversation with Q, his attention with you is so extraordinary. He completely is there with you. He is so present that that presence and communications is, it's extraordinary. You feel like, Wow, somebody's actually really paying attention to you and listening to you at a different level. And it's one of the gifts that he has. And yeah, I remember I was in Las Vegas. I hadn't seen Q for a few years. And I was, it was uh, during Comdex uh, uh, or CES, the big CES show. And somebody said, Oh, Quincy's going to be announcing a project over here. So um, he'll, I thought I'd go over and see him because I heard it was like two o'clock, be at this 
booth and he's going to be there. So I decided to go over and see him because I hadn't seen him in a while. I walked over there and I was standing in the crowd while he was while this was going on. He noticed me. He looked at me and the place basically stopped. And he just came over to me and had the most incredible conversation where everything else stopped. But his presence was there to communicate with you. And it just made me realize how important that is, is when we're talking to people, we're communicating with people to really give them your full attention. And it's a very powerful thing. I mean, it, it not, it's not only respectful in that, but it's also uh, uh, very powerful from a business point of view, because that connecting with somebody at that level starts to create that relationships. And as we know that all, you know, every, every business, every, every, everything you do is based on relationships. So Quincy was one of those guys that really gave me was really valuable in in lessons about life and business that are really hard to explain. Uh, it, truly a remarkable man, for sure. An incredible talent. I mean, when you look at what he's been able to accomplish, it's it's extraordinary, for sure. Crazy. Love Quincy. Love that guy. And, and what did you learn from him as well, too? You talk about life experiences when it comes to lessons. What did you learn from him? Well, just that, just how to how to treat people, you know, and how to how to how to communicate with people and how to give people i mean he was incredible at delegating right he's really good at that and that's one of the things he's, he does so well is he knows how to bring the right teams and probably the biggest thing and i'll never for, i asked quincy i said gosh quincy i said it's got to be really something you know having all the success and he says basically he said to me this it's really simple he said it's just knowing who to call uh-huh and, knowing and I who to call Right. right. And I think that's important. Know who to call. And it seems like a lot of people don't know how to do that these days. And, um, and and of course, with the whole coronavirus, now they go back to just simply pick up the phone like on, on a landline. You dial or you go to a neighbor's house and ask for something. And I remember back yeah. then you just uh, deliver some apple pie to a neighbor or ask, uh, you know, some kids, hey, can uh, Johnny come play? Or, you know, they at least let a cat or dog out just to greet you and say hi. You know, you know, that sort of thing just kind of makes me go back to the days. It's like, you know, you know, forget phones like these devices. It's like, you know, just go back to like um, the way it was. Yeah. Well, that's not going to happen now. The, the genie's out of the, 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 the bottle now when you look at the Internet and what that's doing. So everybody thought all this communications, it was going to be great. Yes, it's great. But they didn't realize sort of the downside of really seeing humanity at its finest <laughs> because, I mean, <laughs> We're seeing stuff, you know, there's a, I mean, it's, it, it really is amazing, actually, uh, when I look out there and I, I see what they call sort of this woke, the woke culture, which is supposedly everybody's so kind and giving and, you know, caring about everything. We have to wake up because we got to take care of the planet and everybody, you know, love everybody, all our neighbors, everything. And yet when you go on the, their sites, uh, you'll never seen so much hate speech in my entire life. Uh, that comes out of a, the same people that are the same people that are supposed to be so aware and so woke, uh, mainly towards our political system and about the government or about the, the president, and things like that. And it's just, it's really sad to see this type of uh, behavior. But hey, it's where we are as a society right now. And maybe and hopeful some of these uh, things that people, that force people to start taking a look and going, hey, you know, how entitled are humans, right? When you get down to it, because at the end of the day, uh, what makes us more entitled than that dog, the cat, the tree, the flower, or anything else in the big picture when you take a look at, at it? So maybe uh, this uh, wake-up call we're going through will make people realize that, you know, nature is a much bigger thing. We don't have to save the world. The world's fine. The world, nothing's going to happen. It's been spinning for $4.5 billion. It's going to keep on spinning. Whether humans are here, that's a different story. Humans <laughs> may go away. But in the big picture, it made what does it really matter? Does do humans need to be here? To really, I mean, really, why? So uh, I get it. Our ego says yes, we're so important. But you know, maybe people start to realize with all this going on that they've got to start looking inward and just being more kind to everybody and realizing that everybody does the best they can. And we should be supporting the people that are helping us right now, you know, the, the military, the police, the people, instead of tearing them down, which we're seeing so much, and especially beating up the president. I mean, it's just insane to do that. It, it, it's, it just shows how sad that is because, listen, the guy's doing everything he can right now to help us. We know that's the case. He's got incredible teams of people around him. We just got to stop beating him up. He's who we have right now. We need to all rally together and, and try to support the organization for better, for worse, the good, the 
bad because let's face it, it isn't a perfect world. We just got to make sure we do the best we can for the most amount of people that we possibly can and hopefully keep moving towards a positive direction. So I urge everybody out there, please, next time you go to write that horrible thing that you want to say because you're mad, don't do it. Don't do it. Be supportive. We need to support support these folks and just realize that, you know, put the mirror up and realize we all have our own things that we all do. So as we start looking at ourselves more in a in a we fa fashion, you know, it's really a we first model, not so much me, I, I, I. I think that's important to start thinking. So hopefully with all this going on right now, this will be uh, it'll, it'll it'll start to shake itself out. Mm -hmm. and, and also to you talk about, um, you know, some of the. Um the simpler things in life he also as well too and um you also had a really good upbringing too like from your dad bill page he uh oh, yeah. a, a saxophone player like you play with a uh, reed player lawrence welk tonight's show with johnny carson i, I mean it, this is going to sound amazing i enjoy lawrence welk and you know something i enjoy it even more when he was born in strasburg north dakota where i'm currently living in bismarck wow. And you know something too it's like i haven't been there yet but i plan on it the story was just amazing he was like 11 of 12 kids, they had yeah. very little to eat and just uh, they created their own music. And he was actually very strict on um, on, on just doing things. And uh, yeah, it's just, oh, you know, very strict. Lawrence, Lawrence was very amazing. strict. Tough guy, tough businessman. Very tough, but very savvy. I mean, he was savvy. I mean, he owned virtually that whole strip of land right there in Santa Monica, the main drag of Santa Monica, all the hotels. He, he bought all that up. He was a very, very savvy business, very tough businessman. You know, I grew up on that show. My dad was on that show for uh, 15 years. So my whole childhood was on Lawrence Welk, basically. I grew up in that thing. <laughs> and, 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 I I actually, and here's my claim to fame. I am the only person in the entire world out of 6 billion people that have played on the Lawrence Welk show and played with Pink Floyd. Really? Oh my gosh, that's a good trivia question. <laughs> there you go. The only guy on the planet that's done both, right? Now that's a <laughs> that's a pretty trippy, pretty trippy, right? Hey, you know what? Here, here, here's something there. Think EXP project, Lawrence Welk experience with the Pink Floyd experience. Oh, there you go. That's actually funny. Nash and Floyd and, and Lawrence Welk. <laughs> and a one and a two. <laughs> yeah. Well, see what happens is that way you get both audiences, the young and the old. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> but, well, let's, well, let's work on it afterwards as well, too. And of course, um, you know, we talked about your upcoming plans for 2020 and 2021. We've yep, uh, yep. had gone over that and just a couple more things. What's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point once again? Best advice, you know, for me, I think is it depends on what. Let's not music device, advice. That's just, you know, you got to practice, go study, listen for the masters, spend time, go deep on one guy, learn all the subtleties. But I think more important, the bigger lesson is the one that we all have to learn, which we're all getting into is we just got to start looking inward more and, and uh, start, start, start trying to be more helpful with everybody around us and be more kind. I think kindness is really, really important and being grateful. So if I could tell anybody, uh, especially I'm, everybody here, they're listening on a phone or a television or, or a computer or some way they're getting this information. So chances are they're probably uh, one of the fortunate that have been able to, uh, you know, make their life decent. And so I'm hopeful that those people will help becoming more awake and more aware and realize that we just got to be more kind to more people and be kind to everyone. And remember, everybody does the best they can. Again, the only thing's real is you and me talking two minutes ago is illusion. Time is an illusion. Uh, so the only thing that the only matter, only thing that matters is the step we're taking right now. So if, as long as you maintain that lift, uh, uplifting uh, moment at every step that you're taking, how am I feeling? Where am I going? Don't let your mind take you over, create all these insanity things because I could be suffering right now, worrying about the coronavirus, worrying about what's going to happen. Oh my God, no money. Things are going to fall apart. And the reality is I'm sitting here talking to Mike on the show. So in reality, everything is okay. So my thing is, Start taking an inward journey and uh, start, uh, you know, learning about who you are and what really matters. Because you're going to blink, you'll be on, you'll be 50, you're going to blink, you're going to be on your deathbed. So, good to get to it now before it's yeah. too late. 
And, and, and I'm blanking right now, taking in the experience as well, too. Scott, once again, a big thank you for your time. You've been thank fantastic. You and uh, also, once again, Scott Page, CEO of Think Experience here on the Mike Wagner Show. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? And um, where can people um, you know, ch check out your works? And also the um, upcoming benefit for Australian wildfires and also, yeah. the, uh, also the New Orleans Jazz Fest. Well, yes, everything is a little bit moved. It's being postponed out of the Jazz Fest, the Australian fire, which we spoke about earlier. So I, right now, until we find out, I don't really have any uh, confirmed dates on anything, but we'll be coming back. It's Think Experience, Think EXP. Uh, uh, you can go to thinkexp.co.co, and that's uh, the website. And then you can always find me. Uh, mine is I A M Scott Page, I am Scott Page. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of them. So just I A M Scott Page is my standard thing. Come hit me up, message me, tell me uh, you met me on the, you saw me on the Mike Wagner show, and then we'll chat, and then uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, that's it's beautiful. Thank you very much, Mike. Sounds great. Thank you very much, Scott. You've been fantastic. Look forward to having you again soon, and definitely before 2020. And uh, keep us up to date. I love to hear what you got and take it in the experience. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks everybody out there. Nice meeting you all. <laughs> Fantastic. I love okay. it. Okay. Oh, you love oh, it was great. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Yeah. You're always a blast to to chat with. I'll tell you that. And I learned a lot from you. And of course, I think that last episode we talked about with, with a podcast where it's like you're not after like the one million, like Howard Stern just going oh, yeah. little by little by little and everything, you know, telling two friends, telling two friends, and so on and so on. That works. I got to people's heads. When it comes to podcasting, because someone asked me one time, he goes, can I get one million listeners out of this? And I said, if you want one million listeners, you get them yourself. I can't do it for you. It has yeah. to go two by two by two. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit, it's a gig, but it's possible now. Right. It's a great time. That's right. Yeah, too. And of course, I read, too, that uh, in times of recession, it's like a lot of podcasts are coming up. And my wife was saying that, um, you know, something may happen, but it's like you're working a podcast full time and anything you do full time on the side, it'll thrive into a full time. Yep. That's Absolutely. a good thing. Sounds great. Okay, Scott. Thanks again. Right, we'll get copy and um, we'll talk to you soon and keep us up to date. Love you. Have back on again. Anytime, man. Thank you, Mike. Really no appreciate problem. you having me on your show, buddy. We'll talk soon. Sounds good. Have a good night. Thanks a lot. Bye, buddy. Bye. Bye. Bye.